It's my time. Now let me tell you, I ain't never been a theme preacher. I ain't never been a theme preacher. I just hear from heaven and tell you what God say. I'm a prophet of the Most High God. Let me tell you what God told me. The Lord told me. He said, go and tell them. I want them to take dominion on this earth. He said, tell them, I'm raising up some giants in this land and I need them to take rule, take some sovereignty in the spirit, exercise their authority, begin to exact law. In other words, you stand up and say, I forbid this in the name of Jesus. You can't bring this up in the alley. In the name of Jesus, you foul, corrupt devil. You in my land now, and you got to get up out of my land. Let me tell you something. We had a witch. Say witch. witch. We had a witch that came to our region and decided they was going to set up shop in the mall. Now, and it, the news media decide they're going to pick it up and they're going to publicize it. I said, not up in my region. The devil would never get on our newspaper and propagate his own dogma. I said, bring me the newspaper. I said, get it to me and give me some intercessors that believe God. You got to see the power of God shed it down and the same media that reported it is going to come back and cancel the report. They brought me the long paper. We stood and put that paper before God just like they did in the Bible. Behold their threatenings, God. We put the paper up before them and say, Father, this be unlawful in our region. You said you suffer not a witch to live. Not in our region, Father. I need to be canceled from the root. And then I declare to the people now. How many of y'all stand with me in authority? They said, we're with you. I said, now watch the news media. Pick this up and report it. Yes. Now look what God did in exactly less than a month. They got report and coverage by way of newspaper. God said, when I speak to you in the dark, I will announce it on the housetop. He allowed the Channel 24 News, Fox News, pick it up and announce it that it closed from the group up. Took them out of the mall less than a month. Then we had a school teacher that was in the school system. And the little girl went over there and told the teacher, my mom said somebody prayed against her. And that's why they had to close shop. Well, what the lady at my church don't hardly come, what she didn't know, it was her church that canceled it. <laughs> so she came to church and to tell us what the kindergartner said, that her mother said, her, she said, her mother said, somebody prayed and canceled it. I said, we did. Yeah. The Lord said, whatever you bind here on earth shall be bound in the heaven. Why are you permitting some of the things to happen in your region? Do you understand you are more than just mere mortal man? That there is an authority that radiates in you that at the name of Jesus demon trembles at the name of Jesus and releasing the word devils have to come subject we had a lady in our church we were in the hospital she died she died they put the mama out and let me stay I said alright since you let me stay in here must mean you want me to call her back I said, Shinona, come back. She had to come back to life. God said, I've given you authority over life and death. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Speak life. The Lord said, too many of my people, Satan has filled you with propaganda. He has filled you with lies. So you don't exercise dominion on the earth. Everything you hear, you don't have to permit and let it happen. He said, open up your mouth and decree and declare a thing. If thou shalt decree a thing, it shall be established. He said, open up your mouth. Establish 
what is to be here on the earth. And once you establish what is to be, God said, if you permit, I got to permit. But if you deem it to be unlawful, I've got to stand and say it's unlawful. Can I tell you, nobody can take nothing from me that I don't give you. Let me say, there is no law. There is no legislation that can take something from a child of God if you say no. Amen. When you say no, God said, you mean no? He said, then all heaven mean no. He released angels to come on your behalf to say, no, you can come no farther. Say, I'm full of authority. Touch yourself, say, I'm full of authority. Say, I take dominion on the earth. Now, I need you to get in your mind and your heart what thing that has opposed you. What is that thing that's been standing up? Ah, oh, yes, I see. This lady right here, sitting between these two, one foot, this table right there. The Lord said, you, you're by no means is barred in. Promotion is due to you. Promotion is due to you. You tell the devil no. You don't. I'm not in no fixed system. The Lord said promotion is due to you. Tell the devil somebody's about to move. You got to get out of my position. You are holding my spot. Promotion belongs to me. Tell the devil get out the way. Tell him to move. There is an exponential growth over you. The Lord said, I want to jump your money. There is a position sitting right there. And some folks got to move right now. The Lord said, I need them to move now. So now what you do is call them out of this region. Ship them somewhere else. Say, Father, they got to go because this is my position. You show me this is my position. I understand you called me to work this area. You need to tell them time to shift. Somebody say, shift. Come say, shift. See, you don't understand the power of your words goes out in the atmosphere and every barricade has to shift. It's got to move out of your way. I dare you to open up your mouth and tell somebody, shift. Now, let me tell you, two years ago, in 2007, 2009 I got the report from the doctor see thank God he had already worked my faith muscle by the time I got there see he said tell them I need them to exercise dominion on the earth Luke 10 19 said behold I have given you I have given you over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you women let's 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 deal with can we kind of go in and extra jesus that and pull it apart listen what he said i gave you something i didn't give the devil the devil have ability his power means ability he said but your power means authority i've given you authority you can take a little bitty policeman because they have delegated authority they can stand in the middle of the road and you better not run over them because they have the power of the state behind them. God said you got the power of heaven back in you. Whatever you deem to say this is not lawful. This is a lying spirit trying to confiscate what God gave me. He said I gave you authority. Exercise authority in my name. Decree and declare it over the atmosphere. If you're not afraid to speak it, God is not afraid to back it. 2007, I'm sitting in the doctor's office. And I had seven white coats around me. Giving me my verdict. Listen to me. Giving me their verdict. My verdict is this. Sent his word. And he has already healed me. Here, you see when I went in. I went in with my verdict already. He said by his stripes I am. Healed. By his stripes I were. Healed. By his stripes I am. Healed. And since I were. I am and I is. I went in is healed. Let me help y'all. Let me help y'all for a few minutes. I needed to give a name 
to what the doctor said, what was going on. I didn't have a name. So if I'm going to exercise the name that's above every name, over that name, I went to the doctor to find out what the name was. Excuse me, y'all. Some of y'all need to go to the doctor to find out the name. You can't put the name that's above every name over until you find out what's the name. Tell somebody what's the name. You got to get a name for this thing. And so that I strike the mark. I don't have time to play in the kingdom. I've got to have a name. So that the name that's above every name. That at that name, come on, I gotta take off some stuff. That at that name, pull that on off me, baby. At that name, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess to the glory of God the Father. Jesus is Lord. Come on, Jesus is Lord. So I went in with the understanding that Jesus was Lord above whatever I'm about to find out. I couldn't cancel what I don't know. So when y'all going to the doctor does not say you don't have faith. You've got to understand what am I encountering? What is it that I have to curse? What, what is it that I need to stand or withstand against? So why are the seven doctors, you know, they tried to set up camp against me. Seven in the Bible means the number of completion. What Satan was trying to say, I'm about to complete this illness in you. I had battled a full year with that thing. Literally, I had all kind of stuff happening in my body. And I was having problem walking, problem sitting. But the devil was going to say, you ain't going to dance no more. You can quit that running, quit that shouting, and quit that prophesying. <laughs> but what he didn't know is I got a legacy with God when I was a child I was born in the world with a birth defect and I had to overcome adversity then and I learned as a good as a child he was stick close to you than any brother I learned as a child what it means to walk alone and yet I'm not I learned as a teenager what it means to face death and the hand of the Lord come and get you and deliver you out of the ocean. I learned as a teenager when you're going off a cliff in midair, he will send angels to rescue you. I learned that when you're falling in midair, angels will get up under the car, hold the car in midair, and then land the car on oh, I learned that I serve a God that can do exceeding exceeding listen to me for a minute exceeding abundantly above all hold up excuse me see something happened in my spirit with that he said all all mean all now I went to school and the English was something I love when I read all in the dictionary it means everything he said he can do exceedingly Abundantly above. 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 Whatever you're looking at, he said, I'll go above it. I'll get above that thing. See, if you are wrestling with something, you got to get above it in order to take it down. It will not come down if you're still under it. So what he said, I know how to get you above so because if you can get above it you can see like i see you will see much more looking down than you do parallel parallel i think side swipe parallel i may not can see the full panoramic view i've got to get above the thing so i can see from heaven's point of view as somebody said god help us to see from heaven's point of view. So I went in the doctor's office. You got to understand, I went in, I could barely walk. I'm in pain like I can't even tell y'all. I was in pain 24-7. I 
I had never known that level of pain. I had been through a lot of stuff, molestation, but molestation couldn't take me out. Though the devil tried to steal my dignity, there was a voice inside of me saying, but get up and you don't understand why this happened to you, but God is going to use it for his own glory. Get in your spirit. Quit acting like mere human flesh. Stand up and be strong. You were weak in the natural, but I need you to find out who you are in me. I need you to understand I am greater in you than everything that's outside of you. I need you to understand if you can dare exercise authority, if you can dare stand still and speak my word and do not recall it back. Let me let that resonate a minute. If you got the nerve to speak the word, send his word out and do not retract it. Do not go back and get the word you put out. See, when I went to the doctor, I went there full well knowing I am healed. My body was not telling me I was healed. My body's saying, you're young and you're about to go down. But my spirit says, he shall never leave me. Not forsake me. He did not bring me up to this time. To put me way out here. My God. For me to leave here crippled, the devil is alive. Somebody said, the devil is alive. I stood in the doctor's office, all seven of them white coats around me. They t did all they test just to come back to tell me. I told them I'm a dancer. I'm a runner. They said, well, ma'am, you're going to have to stop all of that. And in life, sometimes you've got to make some concessions. You've got to make some changes. And you at the age now, you need to make some concessions and some changes. So, and if you don't stop it, in two years, you'll be crippled. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Something happened in my spirit. Yes. When they told me that, oh, in two years, and gave me a date. He gave, the devil gave me their prophetic prophecy. It was a prophecy from hell. In two years, you will be crippled. That was in 2009. Where are we now? Let me say something. So I sat there and I looked at the doctor. I said, you mean to tell me, is this the best you can give me? They said, ma'am, you're going to have to make the changes. Go home, modify your life. Stop running. Stop dancing. What they was telling me, stop that praising. Stop that dancing. But God said, let them praise his name in the dance. But the doctor said, stop that dancing. What they were telling me, sit down, shut my praise up. But Jeremiah said, his word was like fire. Shut up inside of me. His word will not die out. And something happened. If I tried to sit down, my hands said, whoa, I give him some praise. If I tried to shut up, my legs said, oh. I can't help myself. When I wanted to sit down and be quiet, something happened when I heard the word preach. I said, whoa, Jesus, my God, that word is so good. See, you don't understand. If you came from where I came from, I was busted. I was broken. No one cared for me like Jesus. That's right. I developed a love for my Lord that was so rich. I developed a love that's so pure. He's my life, you hear me? He's my breath. He's the reason I live. So I got up from the doctor's office with their report. Go home, modify. I came home. They told me in two years, you'll be in a wheelchair. Mm. I came out of the doctor's office. I said, Father, I could barely move. I said, I believe you. Yeah. I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go home and put on tennis shoes. I'm going to the track and I'm going running. 
I'm reminded you told them in the Bible, pick up their bed and walk. You hear me? Get the carpet, get the couch you were laying on. Pick the couch up and get up and go be healed. And so I picked up my car. I put on my shoes. I could barely. And every day, I wouldn't even tell my husband how bad. I was in pain because he loves me. You hear me? I have a husband who really loves me and he would have used his husbandly authority to tell me to go to bed because he wanted to preserve me. But I had a father that was much greater to so get your bed up and walk. And for one year, I walked my faith out. For one year, I kept walking. I kept walking. I was creeping at that time. Till now, I can run. I can leave. I can jump and let me tell you, God cancel the handwriting what the devil had over me. I'm walking, I'm going to live and not die. I said, I'm going to live and not die. I'm going to live and not die. The Lord said, tell the people I need them to exercise dominion. What have the devil spoken to you? What lie have he said to you? That you know. It's going to take the hand of God to move it. We have a lady in our church. She called me from the doctor. She said, Pastor, I'm at the last stages of AIDS. They told me to go home, spend my last Christmas with my children because you're not going to see your grandbaby. You're going to die. When she called me, you could hear fear. But you got to understand, I had to work my faith muscles by that time. By that time, I done seen God raise the dead. By that time, I done seen God heal me. By that time, I done seen God raise up so many cases. When she called me, I said, listen to me. Now, it is hard to build a house when the storm is raging. How about that? It's hard to go out there and nail planks down if the wind is blowing. I said, but if you can hear the word of the Lord, I want you to come home, shut off the TV and God shall cancel the report of the doctor and you will have medical document to show that our God is a right now God our God is a healing God. When you stop reading this word like a novel and start reading like he is the same yesterday, today and forever, he heals forevermore she came and their anointing came in the house like it did today Worshippers start worshiping and I told her come up here and we cursed it in the name of Jesus see it wasn't my name that got a heal it was the name that was above every name that cursed the HIV cursed the AIDS can I tell you her, her grandson wasn't even born he is now getting ready to go on 8 years old she was supposed to be dead already before the baby was born. She has medical document. The curse has been reversed. Come on. That the name of Jesus is above every name. If you can get rid of your religious head. Get rid of your religious mindset. Throw away that stuff that they say what God don't do. And stick to what God said he does. Now if I want to know anything about God. I'm not going to go to some other believer to try to tell me what God can do. I gotta go back to his will. I gotta go back to the 66 books he left me. And whatever God said in the old, it is established in the new. Somebody scream up in here. I say somebody scream up in here. We have another lady that came. God said I need to stimulate some faith. Some of y'all got some situations you need God to come through in. And you need to know that if God did it for one person, it qualifies God to do it for you. If God is still healing, he got to heal you. We had the lady that came in and the doctor gave her her report. The report was this. They said you are carrying a Down syndrome baby. You're really too old to have this baby, but this is the condition of the child, and you might as well go ahead and kill the child in the womb. Can I tell you the doctors don't carry the last report of the name of Jesus? I said what you went to was human 
humanism. Humanism can only tell you what their mind can conceive. Time for you to get somebody that got an ear to the voice of God. I say, bring me the report. Watch the name of Jesus that's above every name. Curse this thing in your womb. I say, bring me the report. Put it up on the altar. So while we worship it, God will create a miracle in your womb. She had the report and the document that shows the child was Down syndrome. And now she has the living manifestation. The child was born after the name of Jesus cursed it. The child is now eight years old. He is at the top of the class. He is an A student. He's a runner and no trace of Down syndrome. You better give out God some praise. ago, listen to me, somebody say eight weeks ago, the Lord said tell them I need them to exercise dominion on the earth, I need you to open up your mouth, use the power of my word, he said my word that have gone forth out of my mouth shall not return to me empty, void, and fruitless, but the word that has gone out of my mouth, it shall accomplish, it shall accomplish, it shall accomplish where Oh, y'all are praise for the word. That's why I'm not part of my personality. I'm in love with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm in love with his word because he has proven to me he is everything that he said. He is. We had a miracle service again, much like what's happening now. I understand if God creates an avenue, he must want to work miracles. If God's trying to raise your faith, he must want to kill fibroid tumors in the womb. If God is creating this kind of atmosphere, he must, he must want to realign some spies. If God is speaking this kind of atmosphere, he must want to save somebody marriage. If God is creating this kind of atmosphere, Atmosphere, he must want to reverse that handwriting that's been over your mind. Listen here. My God. Here the woman couldn't have a baby. The doctors punctured her uterus. She was bleeding profusely. She lost over way over half of the blood. She was supposed to have 12 units of blood in her body. She lost all the way down to three units. Let me tell you about the power of our God. She needed a miracle. If she ever was going to conceive, God was going to have to restore her womb, speak to the fallopian tubes, tell the eggs to come down, tell the womb, I need you to be strong to hold through conception and carry through the nine months. So, And then on top of that, she did not even have a cycle. God had to restore the cycle, heal the wound, and then put the child there. Can I tell you, when the doctors could do nothing, the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus, this is the name of Jesus deliver that woman. In a miracle service, my husband called and said, those of you that need a miracle, run now. They came and I teach people, don't be moved by what you feel. Miracles are not released by feelings. Miracles are released by faith. Did you receive the spirit by the law or by the hearing of faith? If you're going to get a miracle, you've got to believe the words you're hearing. Right while you're sitting where you are, if you can hear the word, the word will go in and curse the condition. Her husband came up and touched my husband, went and stood next back to her, and immediately her body began to flow. She had to run out of the service. She hadn't had a cycle in over four years. She ran out of the building having a full flow. Eight weeks later, she was fully pregnant. She's eight weeks now. That was just eight weeks ago. Jesus, the name Jesus, this Jesus that we hear about, he still works miracles. This Jesus we preach about, still raise the dead. This Jesus we preach about, kills cancer. This Jesus we preach about, restores and make you whole. 
and forever. And if there's one person standing that God has healed, it qualifies him that he's the same yesterday. He's the same yesterday. He's the same yesterday that he is today and forever. Come on. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. I am the Lord God. I change not. Is there anything? Is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything that I cannot do? Is there anything that I cannot move? Is there any mountain that we dissipate under the anointing? Is there anything? God said, is there anything? What can you believe me for? All things are possible to him that my body. Wherever I need a miracle, I would touch my body. Because it's Jesus that do the work. I would touch my body. I said, I want my miracle back. I want my deliverance back. I see myself walking out. Let me help y'all. Let me help y'all. I don't want you emotionally worked up. I need your faith. Your faith got to be released. Not a soul got to come out there and touch you. But if you would reach up there and grab it right now, you Jesus the same. Jesus, well, don't you pass me by? Since you just healed a woman eight weeks ago, I reach out and receive a miracle in my own body. I reach out and I believe you are the same. As the rain comes down from the earth and the sin is not back, so does my word that comes up out of my mouth. It can't. I do. I feel that thing, honey. Oh, yes, I get up Oh, yes, I get up Oh, I feel this. This lady that's touching her head. Come in, sweetie, you. And I want you to walk because you walk into a living Jesus. He's the same yesterday. Listen to me, he's the same yesterday. He's the same yesterday. Nothing generationally can plague you. That generational demon that tried to come down by telling the devil no. No, no. And I'm not going to say thank you to it. I said no. You can't touch my body. No. You lying demon of oppression. Uh -huh. I go all the way back where they work something in the spirit realm. I break that ancient curse that tried to tie itself to you. Woman, you are loose from the demonic authority that's been carried in your body. You be set free in the name of Jesus. Tie on you right now in the name of Jesus. The same devil. It leaves you today. The Lord said, get ready. There's more schooling for you, baby. Listen to me real clear. Money's about to be made available. Uh -huh. But God's going to work it. Because there's some more schooling. Because God said, I'm bringing some more finances to you. Uh -huh. You're going to work that job. But God said, I'm going to fix it up. Because you're going to start doing classes. I see classes taken. Because the Lord said, I'm going to take you all the way up. I'm breaking a legacy of lack. <laughs> the legacy of lack is destroyed from over your life. And the Lord said, a woman of much substance. You won't be a young woman of much substance. You better give God some praise up in here. Hey, Come here. Come here, give me your hands. I need you to add, give your hand. I need you to go touch this lady in the green, her knees. Touch her knees in the name of Jesus. The Lord, you're moving in her kneecaps right now. In the name of Jesus. S restore the ligaments and the cartilages. I go behind her leg. I command, go behind her. I command the swelling. You come up out of these legs now. I decree uh -huh, her life expectancy has just expanded, 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 expanded. I 
said when the devil wanted to cut off your life expectancy, the Lord added 15 more onto what you were already going to live. I release the anointing of God to a ripe old age. Y'all better give my God a praise up in here. Get up and move around. Let the devil know I shall use my legs to my own. You foul demon of arthritis Come out of her body You lying spirit Come on, somebody give God a praise Up in here uh, I feel that I feel that And touch her eyes For the Lord said while I'm working her knees I'm cursing cataracts I'm cursing the forming of cataracts in the name of Jesus. I wish somebody would praise up in here. Oh, shit. I wish y'all come on and praise. I understand if I was talking about the Pope, that praise is low enough for him. Talking about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I'm talking about the God that can do anything. If there's anything too hard, hey, he won't tell it to you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I feel that. That woman that's battling in your womb. Put your hand on your womb. In your womb, fibroids. I curse that thing right now in the name of Jesus. Come on. Command it. Put your hand in your stomach. Command it. In the name of Jesus. I command a dissolving of this tumor in the womb. I command you by the authority of the name of Jesus. Come out. I speak to that endometriosis. You suffer that from a young girl. I curse that thing from the root that's in your womb. I command it in the authority of the name of Jesus. Die under this anointing. In Jesus' name. Now lift those hands and start worshiping Jesus. It ain't got nothing to do with your feelings. It has everything to do with your faith. My feelings didn't tell me I was healed. When I walked out that doctor's office, my face said, I'm healed. And they shall live to see me walk. They shall live, live, live to see me live past their demonic prophecy. I shall live. I shall live. Y'all need to say, I shall live. And I shall not die. Come here, come on, come on. I see that, my God. She can talk about that woman right here standing right there. Uh -huh. You're just swinging your arms. Put your hand on your throat. And the Lord said, every place where the enemy wanted to cut off your voice and stop your voice, the Lord said, I've given you a voice to penetrate the heavens. And I'm releasing now over you the atmosphere and anointing. Even over in your house, I see you walking and marshalling new territory. And you're letting the devil know this is where the lines stop. You're not permitted to do it up in my place. I decree and declare it's an open heaven. The Lord said, you shall live over an open heaven. I shall bless the words of your mouth. I shall decree and declare some things from out of your mouth. And the Spirit of the Lord said he shall move upon you. And I shall open your eyes and you shall begin to see the thing that I have called you to call into existence. And you shall see the hand of the Lord. Lift your hands and give God some praise in here. Hey, come and give God some praise. I, I know, give God some praise up in here. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we worship you. Oh, God, I feel that. Yes. 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 The gentleman sitting back with the tie. I see the hand of the Lord touching your chest. And the Lord says, there's a new fire that's coming into you. And the Lord said, I'm firing the words that shall come up out of your mouth. And the Lord said, apostolic fire shall rest upon you. An apostolic mantle that shall shift and govern regions, the Lord was saying to you. And the Lord said, I'm laying a new mantle. The old mantle has worn out. And the Lord said, I'm bringing a brand new fire. And even a fire that's going to hit the church. A brand new fire is about to hit the church and I'm draping the mantle of Elijah upon you. You shall begin to 
righteousness, apostolic fire coming even to your preaching, the Lord said, I'm going to put fire in your word. I and the Lord said, I'm even shifting the belief system. I'm making a shift in the belief system. I'm going to cause you to go into the word. And the Lord said, you want to look again. And the Lord said, you want to say, I, 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 read that, I read that before. But the Lord said, a different set of eyes I'm about to give you. And you're going to begin to go to look in that word. And the Lord said, you shall become known as a man of rich revelation. But not just revelation. The God said, I'm bringing demonstration. I want demonstration of my glory. You will preach my word with fire. And miracles will break out because of the authenticity of my word, said the Lord. Lift those hands and give God some praise. Give God some praise up in here. Oh God, we praise you up in here. Oh my God. This beautiful lady, you have the great, come to me. Uh, come here. Oh Lord. Oh my God, there's a prophetic mantle being birthed in your belly. <sighs> I feel it. I was a sign to come and awaken it in you. I was a sign for you. Fire in your belly. Oh, shut up. Good God have mercy. You're going to become known as the dreamer of dreams. Your dreams will be so clear. Mm. The Lord said, I'm going to bring understanding to the dreams. You have dreams, but God said, I'm going to bring understanding of the dreams. Jesus, have mercy. Lift those hands and worship up in here. Lift those hands and worship up in here. When you magnify Jesus, Jesus will come to his people. When you magnify Jesus, oh, ratakata, sheratakotapakata, Oh God, I feel that. I feel that. I'm gonna hit one more person. Come on, say we taking the men. Come on, say we taking the men. God is tired of weak believers that don't believe the word. If you believe what you say, cast the devil out. Tell the devil to come out in the name of Jesus. Have some fire in your belly. Hey, I feel that. The Lord says, locked up inside of you is the artistry. There is an anointing, the Lord says. Stand up. The Lord said, I'm calling you to impact the artist industry. You, your mind is creative. You, you're a creative writer. Oh my God, it's very, you got a beautiful mind. Your mind is beautiful. But the Lord takes the cap off of you. That cap is going to come off, and you're going to start to begin to put together, even there's a designer in you. The ability to put colors together, to see colors, and see how things should work. The Lord said, from this day forward, as he spoke to Saul, here the prophet Samuel speaks to Saul, tell Saul you're going to meet a company of prophets. And by the time you meet those, those company of prophets, they're going to come playing the flute, the harp, and you go ahead and read your word. For those of you who are in the word, you know I'm scriptural. Yes, yes. And he said, and by the time you leave me, you shall be changed to another person. By the time you leave my presence, you will never be the same. I decree over you right now a prophetic art ministry to come up out of you. I decree you will get to see designs. You shall begin to design plays and put on pageantry. I await the prophetic arts inside you. I decree that there shall be an expansion, an expansion of the glory of God inside of you. I decree your way out, my God. You're going to show, people going to really understand who you are by what comes out of you. You are powerful. They don't even know who you don't even know who you are yet. But there's a powerful woman. There's coming a time they shall call for you. Hallelujah. Because you're gonna be able to go in places, and I mean trape a place. 
Because you got the eye to see. You got the eye to put the things together. I see you putting it together, coming in. And the Lord said, I'm going to birth the business inside of you. They're going to call you. And I see you coming in, setting up receptions because it's inside of you. Strategic. I see you putting together flowers and putting together things. You got the eye to see. I decree over you now. <laughs> That it shall awaken inside of you and you shall be changed into another woman. Give God some praise up in here. Give God some praise up in here right now. Tell God thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you that you will send your word to me. You will set me free by the power of your word. Now lift your hands and say, Father, I submit to you. Oh, God, your word shall be alive in me. Take away religious blunders. Give me a new hunger. Father, I'm so hungry. I want more. Fill me with your passion. Fill me with your presence. And Father, I will run after you. Quicken me, Father. And I will run after you. Draw and I will not run away. Work in me both to will and to do of your good pleasure. Father, I repent. Every place I place, every place I operated in religion and not in your true power. Forgive me. I repent. Every place I operated in tradition. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father. My mind held people back. My belief system shut people out of the true power. Forgive me. Pull the blinders off. I submit to you, Jesus. Release your power over me. Release your passion in my life. I want more from you. So give me first a hunger to pray. Lord, I want to know you. I really want to know you. So I humble my heart. Take away everything that blocks you from me and me from you. I surrender to your will. Make my heart sensitive again. I rededicate my life to you, Jesus. I submit to you. Now let's tell the devil, say, Satan, in the name of Jesus. I tell down every lie, every principality you set up over me, every demonic plan you design to hold me back, to place limitations on me. In the name of Jesus, I command you, in Jesus' name, go! I command every door, shut before me, open up. In the name of Jesus, I shut every satanic door, I close it off. In the name of Jesus, I tear down ancestral spirit in the name of Jesus that came down my bloodline 